So hello again. Today we're going to be doing we're going to be moving off of what we were doing last time on make code, and we're going to be doing some trinket, which is Python. You've probably heard of Python. So as I said here, from blocks to code. Starting with blocks, we've done that basically. That's just kind of Python if you've done that. And some le yeah. Well, I mean, sorry, it's Scratch, and then we're moving on to Python. So we're going to kind of skip that and do something with Python. Let's see strings. Alright, should we do so we'll you can look through these. These are basically just just like text type things, but I think we can so let's kinda start with this. So this is an interactive thing. So in Python a method is a built in operation that's sp that's uh, specific to a certain certain type of object. Strings have several built-in methods that let you easily modify them. Two useful ones are dot lower open bracket close bracket and dot upper open bracket close bracket. You'll be seeing the open bracket close bracket a lot as kind of a clarification in it, if you know what I mean. Here's how they work. So this is interactive and so here we go. This is my neat string in upper. Upper means oh, up, uppercase. So this is my neat the yeah so you know, obviously syntax but yeah sorry so put it in quotations I'll put string then it'll copy down string and now we'll do this string and then dot upper and dot upper and clarify it and do it in uppercase so you don't have to type it in like that same with lower y you won't usually uh, I can't think of many places where this will come up in other than like things that are different for each user so for example if you were making a game and you typed in your name um, and you wanted it to be different in like so if someone was saying your name it would be and you wanted it to be in uppercase you would do a dot upper and if you always wanted it to be in lowercase for some reason do dot lower if it was different each time so using strings can you change the case of the first letter just the first letter obviously it's still up here sorry lowercase same thing so yeah try the console we've done that Try these challenges. Okay, next. Make a function, lowercase, that a given a string returns the string. Returns. String in except all lowercase letters. Lowercase arg, arg, lowercase trinket, trinket. This is kind of a different version of what we were having doing up here. This is a more complex version. So, so add code here that returns the answer. Okay, might be a bit complicated, but we can do it. So, we need to make a function, lowercase, that, make a function lowercase that, given a string, returns the string, except in all lowercase letters. Okay, so we need to do something that returns it in lowercase letters, if it's in that. So, they've already defined it as, so define, low, if we've done scratch, that me kind of means variable, new thing, lowercase, and then in brackets, what's it called? String. And you have a colon. If you know English, that means like a list is about to come, which it is in code as well. But instead, you don't have to finish it. All you do is tab it in. And then, so what we want to do is return string. Find lowercase string, return string. So then we'll try it here. They've already done a few. I'm in caps lock. Print. Oh. I'm not doing well. Do that and do pr print lower case, which is defined up there, and we'll do string. Oh no! We'll actually, since we'll do it in caps lock, string to return string. Now in the console, which is somewhere over here, it would say string. Yep, see, so arg trinket string, but we put it in up there. Okay, get out of 
this console editor code. Okay. Oh, so we'll make that lower case. Oh. So we'll make that lower case. Put anything you want in there. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be string. I'm just using Nix. That's so we'll run it. String. It'll just print it really. So we've not already done anything there, but we've we've learned about how to define, I guess. So I think so we're gonna try and make it work. So we need to add code here that returns the answers. Return string. So so what we've done here is um so what I've done there is in the little cut uh well I think what they wanted us to do we didn't really specify it but what they wanted us to do is add it since they've already put like basic stuff so return string and then I put dot lower so lowercase will return the strict said string but in lower in lowercase obviously so we'll check it and it'll be arg trinket and obviously string was already like that but arg and trinket are lowercase and that's it for that challenge we'll do one more okay can you change the case of just the first letter okay so capitalizing make a function uppercase i'm going to just draw strings so that's what they want the string to be called i mean the the uh, function to be called that given a string returns the string with just the first letter made uppercase uppercase arg arg uppercase trinket trinket so like that so here we go. So we need to return string. So we can do this with upper, but there's a capitalize, which makes it easier. So this might be a bit complicated, but we're gonna do it with, as they say, is it typing? Okay. Capitalize. Put here, as it says. Uh, over up here, returns a string with just the first letter. Well, sorry, um, the function needs to be named in the brackets, not in the bracket, uh, uppercase underscore string. So here, instead of like string, we will put string underscore name dot capitalize. And since it will cap so cap under here when it's the hint, capitalize will just capitalize the string name which I have to find up here so to find uppercase the string name is return the string underscore name capitalize if that makes sense and when it's capitalized there'll be a capital un, um, capital a underscore rg and the same with that kind of simple but what we're doing might that you might not understand is the string name string underscore name as you see if you highlight it you can see what else it falls like uppercase it falls here 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 and so the also um these are comments so they will not be included they don't be included in the code so if you're not understanding anything and you need to help yourself understand it just put a comment and write whatever you want there that's why the trinket has done it to make it a bit more easy for us so return string of just a name capitalize So we're gonna do some more next video. We're gonna do some more of this. Maybe we'll, because um, this kind of just jumped right into it. Maybe we'll explain more on how it happens in this one and what, where to learn it and how to learn it and if you even want to learn it, because it is quite interesting. These are strings slicing, you know. So yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time and goodbye